I make films when something pisses me off. I just wanted to get all my rage and all my feelings out. I'm Renee Tajima Pena. I'm a filmmaker. I'm the series producer of Asian Americans. I was in grade school during the 1960s and I was really affected by the political turmoil that was going on. I had older siblings who were in the anti-war movement. When I was a teenager, I started to get involved with the Save Little Tokyo campaign. The community I lived in, there's a lot of racial tension. In college, I was a student activist. I was really involved in the Asian American student movement. That experience as an activist really shaped me and it shaped the kind of films that, that I ended up making. The first film I made was Who Killed Vincent Chin? I was right out of college. When we pulled up, we found there was an Oriental gentleman. You know, from my experience of being on the street for so long, the man was a dog. That film was about a civil rights case in the Asian American community. In the early 80s, during the auto recession in Detroit, Japanese car imports were being scapegoated and being blamed for the recession. Vincent Chin, who was a young Chinese American, he encountered two white auto workers. They said things blaming him for the the auto recession, by the end of the night, they had Bastia's brain in. They pled guilty to manslaughter, got probation and a fine, and they never spent a day in jail. For Asian Americans, it wasn't shocking because it was a new story. It was shocking because it was an old story. When we look back in not only Asian American history, but American history, we see these fault lines of race and class. If you follow the fault lines back into history, you see how race has worked in America since the very beginning. Asian Americans, a series revisits the Asian American experience in the 1800s to the present day. It's really an alternative history of Asian Americans. I think in the broader American imagination, Asian Americans are this model minority. They came here, had some adversity, pulled themselves up by their bootstraps and just everything's hunky-dory. That's really not the story of Asian Americans. And I think that's why the story is so meaningful today. It's a really complex story. There is resilience in terms of, you know, people creating communities and making a better life for themselves. But there is this other story of how Asian Americans have been implicated in America's history of you know, race and immigration and class. I think it will be surprising to a lot of Americans. 